Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you about pathfinding modifiers. I want to get this NPC to this shiny coin right here, but it's surrounded by a rectangle and there's no way in. So if I click run, it'll say no path available and path is nil. To fix this, I need to use pathfinding modifiers. So I want the NPC to go over this block right here. So I click it and I click on the plus icon and search up pathfinding modifier. So I enable pass through, and now the NPC is able to pass through this block, like this. So the pl problem is the NPC is walking on the lava. I don't want that to happen. So you need to add a pathfinding modifier to lava, and it's automatically not enabled to be able to pass through. So the NPC won't pass through the lava. So it avoids the lava to get to the shiny coin. So this block A and block B. So what happens if I have a path, pathfinding modifier? Um, path, yeah, it's not a part. Pathfinding modifier for block B, and it's also enabled for pass through. The NPC will still choose block A because the pathfinding service chooses the shortest path. So it will choose this path instead of going all the way around. But what happens if I want the NPC to choose the longer path? Well, I have to go to the pathfinding modifier and name the label block A and this label block B. And I need to go into my pathfinding script, which is basically a script that creates a simple path. It's a simple script. And I need to go into the cost table and get the, um, the first modifier. And then the second. Okay, so I want the NPC to go to block B instead of block A. So I need to prioritize block B over block A. So one is the most priority. And math, and yeah. So we can put block A for two priority. So basically block A has less priority than block block B yeah <laughs> so the path so let's see what happens it still chooses block A that's because the pathfinding service like s thinks it's not worth it to go this way because it's like I'm not going to go this way for only one more value so now we have to increase the value so now the pathfinding service will get 19 value if it chooses block B still not enough so you keep adding zeros until it works and now it chooses block b so the biggest number you can do is math huge so this will say okay i'm never going to block a unless it's the only path um, available or it'll say i'll never go to path a because it'll kill me basically and that's the basics of pathfinding modifiers. So if I go to Chrome, Roblox teaches you about pathfinding modifiers. In this example, they added a part, added a pathfinding modifier and enabled pass, um, no, disabled pass through. So the player would go around the lava to get to its destination. And for the second example, um, the zombie is trying to get to the player, but the door is blocking the way so the pathfinding service doesn't find a path so they added a part and then added a pass through so now the pathfinding service creates a path to the player and for the last example this pathfinding links I didn't explain this because the Roblox team is still working on this and I'll release a video once it's out but basically um, here's the so the character is trying to get to here so automatically the pathfinding service will choose the path over here so you create a pathfinding link on the so yeah we want it to go this way so create a pathfinding link on the vehicle seat and um, for the link you need to name the label use boat or something like that and the pathfinding link takes two attachments, attachment A and attachment B. Attachment A is here, attachment B is here. So first, the pathfinding service goes to attachment A. Then the boat moves until um, the position is close enough to attachment B. Then 
the pathfinding service creates a path back to its destination, so right here. So I hope this video um, helped you out. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and I'll see, I'll see you later.